Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today is day five of owning your Cricut. So uh, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. And all right, so day five, I'm changing it up a bit. I thought that we would take tackle a couple different ready to make projects, and I'm just gonna show you, walk you through it, um, show you some tips and tricks, and uh, you know how to make changes just so that you get used to design space. And the best way to learn is definitely going to be um, you're, I mean, I'm just going to say it. you're going to make some mistakes. <laughs> your paper is not going to cut. Your vinyl is going to be upside down or backwards. And you're going to forget to do all these things. My first year was just littered with mistakes, mistakes on every project, but that's how you learn. And, um, it's fun and you're going to make beautiful, useless things. So let's get started. <laughs> okay. So I went into, this is the home page, and I saw a couple things that I wanted to make. So let's tackle the first project. It is in this new year, new design space projects. I thought these little boxes are so stinking cute. So they're Galentine's Day gift boxes, and we're just gonna customize. I'm gonna replace it, and I'm gonna walk you through the different layers. So what I like about this file is, I believe these are cut lines. When something is cut, like um, spaced like this, it's so much easier to fold over. Also, whenever I see one of these projects, I like to do it with thicker paper. So I'm gonna start with probably about 80 pounds-ish um, to give you a good feel for what that is. I love using basil paper. So you have a Joann's near you, Joann's will do that 10 sheets for $2 and I will stock up on all the different colors in basil cardstock because um, I like that it's textured. Uh, I love all the colors that you can get and at $10 for, or 10 for 10 sheets for $2, it's a really good deal to get all the different colors. Um, while we're talking about that though, let's just take a moment. <laughs> when you're doing projects and there are multiple layers, I love having a, a variety of the same color in the different shades. So when you're buying, buy all those different blues. Even though you might have a favorite blue, you don't wanna do all of the same blues. Like it's really cool to have the different uh, variations in the colors. It really changes your project and, and it comes to life. So I do recommend when they have that sale to do your different shades in blue, uh, red, pink, purple, that will give you a great range. Um, and, and it seems silly, but I used to just buy the color that I liked and then, I don't know, that's my style. You're gonna develop it. And if you, you've you been here for a while, this is one way to, to further develop your style. All right, so first thing is um, these cut lines. I, I do like them. If you follow along for the 3D letters, Nilmara Quintella on Etsy, you can get her uh, alphabet and all that good stuff. And she, I, you know, she has the cut lines. I prefer that over scoring. Scoring just is more difficult to fold over. I definitely prefer that. All right. So you have this. You've got a couple different layers. Here is your um, your red layer. It looks like it's cut out. So this little red circle inside the O, that's gonna fall out. That's gonna be a piece that you're gonna need to glue on. Um, and let's see, you have plain white square, plain rectangle square for the white here. This font right here, if you look at it, so different from the XO, because what I just said was, when you cut out this red piece, this red that has the X and the O is gonna be one piece, the circle is gonna be another piece, another circle, and then this outer layer. None of that is attached. As opposed to this name right here, you can see that, I'm gonna make this actually bigger so that we can talk about this better. Um, You see how there's like little, breaks in between so inside the a there's a break so that white inside this a is connected to the rest of this so this white piece is all one piece unlike the other one where you're going to have to put in the middle of the o right um so that's what's great about that file now the only thing is i mean this one doesn't look so much like a stencil because that's what basically it is so let's change this name i'm gonna change it to charlotte uh, can you change it? Yeah, here we go. 
Um, so if you have a long name, you can make it smaller just by doing that. And you can see on here, this little loop in the C, normally that would fall out, right? But there's a little space right there. I'm gonna make this even bigger if we can see it. So there's a space right there. So that white is connected to the outside. Um, this A is open. Now what's funny though, um, because it's open to edit. Um, this name is not welded. So what would happen though is you need to take this next step, which is you need to go to combine. So let's make a duplicate copy just so that you can see. Okay. So on this one, you want to, I'm thinking about it. Actually, you don't need to, well, I do want to show you what would happen, but you basically need to take this layer and grab your white layer and slice it so that it's taken out. So your your white layer is going to be, let's make this smaller. Your white layer has that. It's gonna be cut through and your red layer is gonna be here. Now, let's say you like the red layer, but you don't want the name to be in red. What I would do is take this white layer, make a copy, go to contour. We're gonna hide all. So it's the same size as this white one, but let's move this backwards. Um, arrange, send backwards. And I'll just move this top one, bring to the front. So now you can change this. Let's say you wanna make it pink. You want multiple layers here. So you could do that. And then you can grab these two and move it over here. So you can kind of see that gives it like just one more layer. And what you can do is in between the white and the pink, you can use foam tape so that it pops out a little bit. In between the pink and the red layer, you can do another round of foam tape and make that. So now let me show you what I was saying earlier. If you didn't weld this, and let's say you wanted it to be, you know, hold on. Let's say you wanted this to sit on top. You could cut this out in a pretty, I don't know, let's say you do it in gold. Arrange, send to the, bring to the front. And you could do something this thin and have it be a layer in itself. But if you don't weld it, what will happen is it will look like this. I'm going to ungroup it. So your E is gonna come out and you're gonna have nine different letters cut out by itself. So you wanna make sure that you weld it. In this case, because we sliced it, we didn't need to weld it because it was one piece and we sliced it from the white. So I hope that makes sense, all right? So I'm going to, I'm actually going to delete all this. I'm gonna make this and show you, I'm gonna show you what the top layer looks like. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna cut out a top layer. I'm gonna cut out this to show you how I would do it and we'll piece it together. So let's see how, let's save this. Okay, create. All right, we're saving it. We're saving that project in my demo folder. And this project does cost 99 cents for some reason to make it, which I'm a little bit surprised, but we're gonna keep it this way. Uh, let's go to make it so that you can see what the screen looks like. So here's my white layer. My white layer is the white over here for the XO, for the XO I think, and then Charlotte. Um, here is the red layer is just a tag. Oh, there's multiple shades of red. Let's say we don't want to do that. So what you can do is you can click on this box, move object, and I'm going to move it to the original red one. I don't want to cut two shades of red. <laughs> I know I told you to buy two shades of red, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to cut it all in red. And I wanted to show you how to move the item over. All right, here is the pink. Now, 
if you, I'm gonna assume you're using a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. This is the way it came in. You would, this sheet wouldn't be as nice. You can move these things around. This can fit up here. And now from here over, you have a nice rectangular piece of scrap paper that you can use for other things. So I do move things around when I can. All right, so we have nothing on this mat. Um, this is that other layer. Look how small that is. So that's why I like to slice it out and have it come out from the bottom layer. But I'm gonna cut this so that you could see. It may be difficult. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so this is one. I'm gonna cancel out of this. I'm gonna cut it after this video is over. Let's do one more project. Let's go to new. Actually, let's go to the home page. There was another one that I saw that I wanted to do. Oh, this one. Um, these are, you know, sayings that you have different colors and a lot of times this is probably going to be cut out in vinyl or HTV. So in vinyl, if you're going to put it on a tumbler, in heat transfer vinyl, so your iron on vinyl, uh, if you want to put it on a sweatshirt or something like that. So let's make, add this to canvas <clears throat> and let's view it. It may go, okay. So let's resize this. Let's, I'm not going to make this, but let's resize it. And it looks like all the different colors are grouped or are saved as one. So for instance, your light bulb. And the way I know that is this is the layers. So right now it's all grouped together. You've got a green layer, which the light bulb is with this. And you might not want that because you see there's a lot of space in between. If you're cutting this on vinyl, you may not want to do that. You may want to put the, <clears throat> the light bulb on by itself and move it. But let me show you how to do that. Uh, let's see, the red, um, that's the yellow layer. The red is kind of all over, which sometimes you want it because that will help you space everything, but you might not want, you know, that. I'm going to show you how to change the colors. So may all your is in silver and in silver also are the little ornament um, tin part, the metal part. So that's why it's that color. But let's say you only want that gray metallic look for your light bulbs, but you want may all your be in, I don't know, pink. So this is how you would do it. Um, let's ungroup the whole thing. And I'm going to move this over. So this right here is all together as one piece. So when you go to make it, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the make it screen. You see there's a lot of open space. You might not want that. If you don't want that and you want to be efficient and cost friendly <laughs> and save on your vinyl, this is how I would do it. These, This is all attached. Bring in a shape. Just bring in a square. And we're gonna slice this, we're gonna slice the light bulb away from be ugly, okay? So you can only slice two items at a time. We're gonna, you're gonna use the square or the rectangle, square. <laughs> and the green. I'm going to get my square and cover the light bulb completely and only the light bulb. And then grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. So what will happen is now be ugly is by itself and this light bulb is now by itself. Sometimes you wanna do that because you wanna change the light bulb. I wanna change it to blue, and now I can have a blue light bulb, and my be me ugly, may all your sweaters be ugly and bright, that's cute. So you could do that. Let's say you wanna do the same thing with this. Now you only want the, the two, um, metal pieces from your light bulb to be gray, then what you can do is you can take the same piece and move it over this first one only, grab these two items and slice. And I'm gonna get rid of this bulb. So now, the this is your slice results, you can get rid of that and look, now this is by itself. Now this, I'm gonna get I'm going to remove that, slice that out. Okay, so I still want these to be silver, metallic-ish, but I want this 
to be, I don't know, purple. You could get rid of all these little, um, all these little pieces down here. You can change that to a different color. You would just do the same thing. Um, and that's it. So let's get rid of all our slice results. You can resize it here. Let's say we're doing a t-shirt, okay? We're gonna use HTV heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron-on vinyl. Um, we're gonna do this sweater. Now, when you're doing a sweater, it may help to have all this line up together on one sheet. Yes, you're not efficient, you have a lot of empty space, and you may not like that, but sometimes it helps to have a little bit of structure and so this can come in. Maybe you want these things to be different. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. This green will be by itself, right? This yellow, let's separate the yellow. Now the other way to separate something I'm gonna show you is you, you can duplicate it, go to contour. I duplicated it so that I have two copies because I wanna separate this into two pieces. However many number of pieces you want it, that's how many copies you need, okay? So here is my bright and my light, right? I'm gonna get rid of the light and this little thing. So now this is by itself. And on this one, I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna hide all, because this has a lot of pieces to it. Hide all. I don't want, I want this piece, but I don't want this bright, and I also want this piece. So now look, there's my light by itself. Okay, so I've got this light that I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change it to orange maybe. So let's make this a little bit smaller so we can move our stuff over. Oh, so this was actually over here. This is what's going on. Oh, I just moved this all over the place. It was something like this, right? Now this, I might want these little fun sparkly things to be a different color. I would, instead of making this one, two, three, four, five, six, that's too much, right? And this is all separated, so I'm just gonna bring in a big, I'm gonna unlock this to change it into a rectangle, okay? And I'm gonna slice these two things. So now, because I sliced it, may all your is separated. And this, I'm gonna delete this. This can now be a different color. Maybe I wanna make that um, pink. So I could do that, okay? So let's go to make it. When you go to make it, first of all, if this is HTV, you're mostly gonna want to mirror it, okay? For the ornaments, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's the same either way. But where it will make a difference, this will stay the same. You wanna, you, I just mirror everything, okay? Um, let's go down to where it would make a difference. Bright, it needs to be mirrored. Otherwise, because with iron-on, you're going to cut shiny side down, so you're cutting the mirror image. So you need it to look like this because then you put it on top to iron it on, okay? <laughs> Trust me on that. And that, you're gonna make so many mistakes until you get it in your head. I've done it, I still do it. It happens to the best of us. All right, be ugly, mirror. Okay, so just remember each one of these you're gonna mirror and then you're gonna cut and it's gonna be amazing. Um, all right, I hope day five was helpful to walk you through those two projects. I'm actually gonna cut it. So day five is gonna be two parts. We're gonna put together that little box just for fun. All right, um, if, um, if you're looking to take a workshop from me, the only workshop that I have planned so far in 2023 is XOXO Craft Girls. And that is, all the information is in the description below. We're making some fun things. I have a co-host, Josie from Sophie's Corner, Sophie's Corner Crafts. 
and so you you get to learn from the both of us. We have similar styles and yet we're different. So you'll get to learn our crafting styles, how we uh, navigate within design space, um, and how we make the same things. We're both gonna do 3D letters, the same two letters, XO. We're both gonna do the cake toppers, but you get to see how different they are. And then my specialty is the off the mat, the big character. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make it big, how to add layers, all of that. So check it out in the description. I have in-person and Zoom. So um, I hope to see you in my workshop. All right, comments, questions, anything, please comment below and let me know and I will answer. All right. Happy holidays and happy crafting. Bye.